And this is in large part due to the Netflix show Culinary Class Wars. Wait, so, so now we know what Rosita's real criteria is. It's how hot is the chef? <laughs> how would that make you feel if they did that? I cannot answer that question because I am always right about everything. But how would you feel if that happened? I wouldn't know how it would feel because it's never happened. <laughs> but just imagine! How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to this week's episode of Balance Talk. And today we've got another fire topic ready for you guys, Yay. all right? So we're gonna get into it, but first I have the pleasure of introducing my amazing co-host to you guys, okay? So without further ado, let me hand it over to the lovely lady sitting in front of me. Hi guys, my name is Anna, and Daniel literally just came like one minute before this live started. He <laughs> just made it on time. You're about to be late. But yeah, I'm the resident Korean of the group. Nice to see you all. Um, what's your name? Brandon? Hey, oh, you, you just said my name, but it's like, okay, hey guys, how's it going to this boy, Brandon? Let's go, B. Jones. I'm here. Let's get it. Fighting. Fighting. It's raining and I'm wet. It's very yeah. rainy. It's very rainy. Yeah. Very moist. In my defense, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Hi, everyone, and happy Friday. And thanks for being here again. I'm Rasida. And yeah. Okay. Um, and also, we went, the four of us went out to eat, which is kind of related to the topic. That's yeah. right. For Rasida's belated birthday. Really, Ooh. really belated oh, birthday. Yes. Okay. So, fun fact though, uh, Rasida, how many times have you celebrated your birthday with friends before with us? 52. It's my first time. First time. So guys, what? yeah. It was her, not with, just with us, but with like any, ever. Yeah. Uh, so it was her first time celebrating her birthday with friends, mm. ever. Exactly. So yeah. can you please, in the chat, please <laughs> yeah, wish Rosita yeah, a late wish, birthday. Yeah, wish, uh, Rosita, Rosita, <laughs> happy birthday. Yeah. 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 Next time I want it to be with my boyfriend, please. Mm -hmm. um, and that's related to our topic because our today's topic is... Yes. Drum roll. Must visit Korean restaurants, all right? So in other words, in Korean, we call it mat jip, okay? Mat -chip. So okay. mat basically means taste or flavor. Chip is like house or restaurant, okay? Um, but one thing that has also been just taking the world by storm again is the K-food craze, okay? And this is in large part due to the Netflix show Culinary Class Wars, which we've talked about a little bit here before. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's just been really showcasing and highlighting the use of really unique Korean ingredients to create these flavors. But mm. speaking of culinary class wars, did everybody here get to watch any or all watch. of it? Nope. We all watch it apart from Brandon. Brandon. Except for Brandon, okay. <laughs> They're Koreanet. Please let us know <laughs> the topics before we talk about them. It's like the fifth time. <laughs> Eczema, physical 100. Mm. I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah. so in Korea, we uh -huh. have, you know, in some countries, we have the, the Michelin Guide, mm. the yeah. Michelin Stars, that's like the, and in, in um, the West, you have like TripAdvisor, Yelp, mm -hmm. Google reviews to mm -hmm. determine like how good a restaurant is. Uh -huh. In Korea, we have something called the blue ribbon ah. that's kind of like similar to our like michelin, michelin guide yeah yeah oh. so yeah it's our restaurant rating guide so it's it's similar to the michelin but it's like a mix of everyday diners and food experts mm. um one ribbon means a spot that you would want to revisit mm -hmm. so if a restaurant has two ribbons it's a place that you would recommend to others mm -hmm. three ribbons is the best of the best like the be oh shoot Oh, we have a question. Oh, there we go. Okay, so this is related to what we're talking about over here. Uh, Brandon, can you read the yeah. question for us? What's your go-to criteria for picking a favorite restaurant? Yeah. yeah. I do I'm, trust reviews. Mm. Um, in Korea also, we have an app called Catch Table. Yeah. That's like the restaurant. Uh, that's Anna's best friend. Restaurant yeah. booking. Yeah. Because like I said, I don't, I don't like going to restaurants anymore where you just have to queue for two mm. hours. Mm. On Catch Table, everything is pre-booked. Mm. Yeah. So you only go at the time slot that you've already booked. So it's mm. way more convenient. Maybe 10 minutes. Yeah. And, and Anna's, Anna's a J, very high on the MBTI. Yeah. yeah, so she wants to make sure everything that she, planned. Everything's planned, reserved. Instagram reviews, I feel like there's so many ads and like mm -hmm. people getting paid to promote. Mm -hmm. right, so you right. don't know if it's genuine. Yeah. But on Catch Table is all like genuine reviews. Mm -hmm. You can get, so. they can probably, they probably pay for ads there too. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, if, but on uh, Instagram, any, it's a minefield though. So I don't really trust Instagram. Yeah, I don't really go by Instagram either. For me, I look at the Naver blog reviews. There's so, there's so much paid. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot. There but, well. for, but for me, I feel like the Naver um, reviews have never let me down. For me, I rely on visuals that's why <laughs> just the photos yeah just the photo the good for thing Rosita, it seems like visuals are very important <laughs> remember last time when she was saying oh her God. favorite chef was triple star just because <laughs> she thinks he's handsome <laughs> the one that's the, the steak one the steak one 
Oh, out the, of oh, Stake the one guy in the who first just wanted episode. to cook. I don't even remember what his nickname is. Yeah, okay. So you should not yeah. choose restaurants just based on how visually pleasing. <laughs> okay, okay, so the basic chef you're all talking about, he just put some salt and pepper yeah. and yeah, like yeah. this. No, wait. So, so now we know what Rosita's real criteria is, is how hot is the chef? <laughs> like if the chef is really handsome, we're like, oh my God, this is like no flavor. Rosita's like, what are you talking about? It was delicious. It's good. We're like, we're not talking about the chef, Rosita. Use your imagination. Just like, it tastes good. I must say in Korea, that is like a real business tactic. You mm. see a lot of like cafes or bars or sometimes restaurants where mm. the the owner will only hire really good looking servers. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's not controversial. Yeah. <laughs> controversial. Oh, yeah, Xana. Okay, well, anyhow. Uh, but what, what about just the... Oh. <laughs> anyhow, there we go. There we go. They're yeah. like, Anna, but stop talking. Good timing. <laughs> They're like, moving on, Anna. All right, uh, Rosita, can you read this question for us, please? Okay, what's your restaurant bias? A, taste mediocre but Instagram worthy, or B, taste 100% your style but isn't famous? Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Three, two, two one. one. And yes, I think unanimous, unanimously. <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 yeah. If you pick A, you're dumb. Exactly. <laughs> but then, Rosita, didn't you say earlier that you like check out, you look at the Instagram to see whether you want. Yeah, you said you look at pictures that's first. Like, that's like how you no, determine whether the restaurant is if good. If you think about it, I don't really go out much. Mm. Uh-huh. So I usually just go to whatever close to me mm. yeah okay so it's not necessarily much uh-huh. yeah I, I only look for instagram worthy when i'm with someone yeah i, I, don't, I don't know who picking one yeah who would pick a in yeah. this question i don't understand. i'm just curious any of the viewers yeah look 100 percent of the viewers also picked but i do feel like sometimes like i have like you know we have to do influencer things yeah uh-huh. and sometimes we have to go just to take content or right. take yeah. pictures or yeah. whatever oh. Sorry, continue. Yeah, yeah. So sometimes you have to be like the first. If you're if you're like working as an influencer, mm. sometimes you have to be like one of the first ones to go to a viral place. Yeah, mm. yeah. Like so. But if like if we just like if I want genuine good food, then of course of of course be. Guys, like, have you ever had an experience where you raved about a place mm-hmm. like you were like oh my god this is amazing and then you take your friends and then they're like eh this is mid. Nope, never. <laughs> Never. How would that make you feel if they did that? I cannot answer that question because I am always right <laughs> about everything. But how would you feel if that happened? I wouldn't know how it would feel because it's never happened. <laughs> but just, just imagine. My, that's the my question. My palate is immaculate. You might as well just call me <laughs> Oh Sung Jae. Okay? Oh Sung Jae That's me. No. Right? Yes. Yes. That's the mental imagine. capacity. Imagine. imagine. Yes. Okay. Yes. Rosita says imagine. <laughs> okay. How I have would a, that make you feel, Brandon? I'd be like, man, I need new friends. <laughs> <laughs> but I've, I've actually do have a question for you guys because this has happened to me before. I've been to a, like a restaurant uh-huh. and it's like a quiet restaurant, and you always have like it's not like a soul chip. It's like a restaurant restaurant, and you have that one group of people, one person, and they're so loud. What do you guys do? Because I yell at them. It was like the first year I moved to Korea, <gasps> and I it was like a K barbecue restaurant, mm-hmm. and then at the table next door, I think they were like this American group of tourists that came over Mm -hmm. and then one of the girls got really loud and she was talking about a politician who I will not name but she was like this politician is such a pig Mm -hmm. he's an absolute pig and she got so loud and then I was looking across at my friend and I could just see the annoyance growing on his face and then he like he like looked over and I know his personality so I was like oh my god dude don't do it please stop he looks over and then he's like hey and she looks like she's like yeah I love that guy and he he picked up a piece of meat on the grill and he was like this is a pig <laughs> <laughs> if you had to eat at only one place and eat the same dish every day for a week what would it be and how would you spice it up or mix it up so that you wouldn't get sick of it so so you have to go to the same restaurant every day for a week and you have to eat the same thing at that restaurant what would it be oh this is so easy i would go for a sushi place Ooh, really? Yeah. Variety. I love sushi. So you could I mean, eat, too, you could, you could like eat the every, same sushi I mean, every day? Yeah, I can. So what, what kind of sushi would that be? It would be set? chamchi t- sushi. Tuna? Yeah. Tuna sushi? Tuna sushi. No, you could eat tuna sushi every day and not yeah. get sick of it. Wow. Just get, okay. get the, like, the little, like, you know, that, like the different tiers? Yeah. Get the, the most expensive set. So yeah. you got like 32 different pieces of, of fish. Yeah. She's smart. Oh, so you just get the variety one? Yeah. yeah. Okay, eat every day. I mean, still though, I feel like even if it was variety, I would get sick of that eating it every day. Well, it's like, what are you going to eat the same pizza pizza every day? Oh, a bulgogi pizza. So what, what would it be for you? What would you pick? I'm, she's smart. <laughs> I'm trying to go sushi too. Yeah, okay. I, didn't, sushi? I didn't think of that. That's the most expensive. Like, we should answer everyone's questions. Let's just yeah. see what they had. Mm. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. I feel like I would go traditional, like OG, because I grew up eating like my mom's cooking. Mm. So I'd probably pick something like kimchi jjigae. Oh. 
Mm. Yeah, honestly, I could eat kimchi jjigae every day and not get sick of it for a week. Yeah, for a week, I could do that, especially mm. if the kimchi jjigae is good. So, mm. yeah. Okay, I think we have an interesting question. Um, uh -huh. Some people might be curious. In your opinion, what is the most important etiquette when eating at a Korean restaurant? Is nah. there certain etiquettes that you have to follow that might be different? Not being loud. I don't that's know. like a universal but okay if yeah, you go to a, a korean one. restaurant mm -hmm. okay there is one thing yeah <laughs> and you get a um, bowl of rice mm -hmm. you should not stick your chopsticks oh. yeah. into the rice because that's what we do in like Incense. funerals mm -hmm. yeah but who would ever just randomly stick their chopsticks i don't in know but that's like a thing people, people <laughs> slurp brandon there's a question for you mm -hmm. uh can you tell us about in korean restaurants what is like etiquette that people should know regarding drinking mm -hmm. like drinking culture mm -hmm. Since you're our uh, resident drinker. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You don't pour your own drink. Mm -hmm. Someone else always pours your drink. So if I'm going to give Daniel a drink, mm -hmm. and I'm like, I would get up and mm -hmm. I would, you know, do like this. The closer your hand is to the bottle, like, means like more respect or sometimes to the heart. Depending yeah. On you mm -hmm. do it. And then I would, then he would pour me. Yeah. Um, that's one thing. And also depends on like your age. Exactly. So the, the the safe thing to do if someone is pouring a drink for you is in Korea, in Korean culture, there's this idea that whenever you're doing something respectfully, you always do it with two hands, not yeah. one. All right, guys, we're going to close the uh, poll in five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. And today's best talker is... Not me. Anna. 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 Yay. Congratulations, Anna. Oh, Brandon is number two. And Brandon got second place. Second place. Yay. All right, Anna, let's uh, hear your victory speech, thank please. Thank you so much. I don't know why, but thank you. Um, Anyways, you guys, thank you guys for hanging out with us on this episode of Balance Talk. Leave in the comments below if you guys have uh, any stuff you want to talk about later. Anyways, you guys, thanks. Bye. Woo! Bye. Bye. That's so fast. Bye. Yeah, I totally messed it up, but yellow. yellow. <laughs>